see the eye cover off and I'm going to try and give it a bit of a clean so I've got the scotch bright wheel on this is the finest one and I'll give it a go and see how it turns out let's give it a go right, I've gone over it with the second roughest not the finest this is three grades of it that's took a lot of it out I'm going to go over it now with the fine so it's had the bit of a polish with some auto sole and that's brought it up really nice it's never going to be perfect because it's near on 40 years old it's got little dinks in it and stuff but it certainly has improved it so that can be back on the bike well it's a lovely Thursday morning pouring down a rain everything's getting soaked tomorrow's supposed to be snow so I'm gonna have a look at this battery and if you can see but there's some lovely quality repairs there and round the back so I'm going to take that off and see if we can tidy it up a bit so that's a quality repair that was they really they knew how to do it properly then I mean that's just factory isn't it you'd never know that had been repaired I'm sure I can do a bit better than that these days right then let's see what we can do with it now I've got that off, I've got the battery back off we was charging it on 6 volt thinking the bike was 6 volt as they normally are so what I'm going to do is put it on 12 volt now, charge it and see if we can get something coming back on it well it did only have one amp in it little volt, one volt when we uh, first tested it with the bike being running it's obviously come up so I'll connect it on the battery charger I've just got it hooked up at the minute it's not switched on so I'll put the battery charger on it and it looks like it might come back looking at that I'll stick it on for a few hours see what happens so that's it put it on the battery charger now and that's taking charge I should imagine We'll come back to it in a few hours and have a look. Right, I had a go at the battery box. Tidied it up a bit. Remade it, spot welded it. Battery fits in there now. The battery I left on for a couple of hours and then had to go out. But it seemed to have up some charge mm -hmm. you know in my meter We'll get overnight and see what it's like. We'll give this coat of black paint tonight and it'll look much better. Well, that's it, battery box has been painted. Yeah, I think it looks a bit better than what it did. So, 
I think I better have a bit of a tide here. Because everything's just in a right mess now. So we'll get everything put away. Get the table cleared off again. Right, I've given my bike away. I'll get it to Bill. Yeah, it'd be alright for an old fart to try and get back into it. So the Chinese bike, I've given to Bill. Thank you very much, Andy. You can have fun on that. Come to, come to collect it. I don't get a full tank of petrol, do I? No, you don't get a full tank of petrol. You just get what you get. What about after sales, warranty? Yeah, alright, I'll do, a, I'll do a warranty for three months. See what I mean, Tom? Three months warranty, mate, because it's winter. You ain't going to be out going far on it. <laughs> Hello, Andy. It's up the shed, trying to play with my boy. I have the ignition on. I press the starter. Nothing's happening. Help. Turn it off. Put fuel in the tank. Put the pipe on. Everything working. But this little pipe under the carburetor that sticks out at the bottom is leaking when I turn the petrol on. As you are an expert on motorbikes, a few guidelines would help. Just getting all excited to have it running, and I can't get it running. So any appreciation would be well, well welcome. And please don't post this on your YouTube channel because I will find it very embarrassing that being a knowledgeable person that I am that I can't get it to go. Help. Well, I think I've cured it, mate. Again, paint off, you burn it off. It was really thick, I tried most things to get it off. I'm sure that'll clean it off, lovely. Right then, on another adventure, I've got 339 miles, no, 139 miles to go to pick up a XL ATS down in Wales off guy named Billy. I'm on the A5 now and the adventure starts now because I have no idea where we're going in Wales. So I'll update you in a little while. Right then, on the toll road, just uh, hitting the plaza, going up to pay. That you wouldn't give me my card back in the plaza. I have to ask for assistance, but yeah, I've got my card back now. Right then. Like being a rally driver, you look at these roads, single track. I've been going on them for about 20 mile now, single track road. Out in the middle of nowhere where I'm going, more looks of it. Right then, we've picked it up, it's in the back. Oh, these lanes are terrible. Can't re can't really see it. Let's head home. Right, are you recording? Yep, yeah, we can't really see you. Can't get you. You see me now. We're heading home. We're nearly there. About twenty-five miles. We're in a halibut. 
rotten journey. It ain't stopped raining from the time we left this morning. And it's still raining now. Oh, Jesus Christ. What a journey. Well, that's a little 80 that we're going to do. You don't see many of them XL80s, XL80s. It's got carburetor issues. After we'll have it apart. walk around the XL80, just draining the fuel off, took the back mudguard off, tank off, just to have a look, closer look around it, oh, something to be desired, managed to pick this up as well, that was advertised, that was missing, for a Kawasaki XL80S, well, I knew it wasn't, so I took the risk and bought it, and it's the one for this bike. So, I'm going to crack on, do a little bit here and there on this one. But it's all there, mainly, because the wiring's in the right mess. No headlight, no speedo, no backlight. Just a matter of keeping your eye out on eBay find the bits as they come along. We got till next summer. Someone painted the engine black but I'll give it a quick scrape there and that come off alright. So that's something to clean all that off. Sort the carburetor out and things like that. But I'm really looking forward to this little project. And as for that one that's MOT'd now and on the road and when I took the NX I took the XL as well and that passed the MOT as well so that's spot on so that's MOT'd that can sit and wait now till summer I'll just keep doing little jobs on it getting it tidy so well, that's a bit of an update. Well, with the 125, a little scrape there as well. A bit more of a scrape there. Carburetor's off. That's on the bench, ready to be worked on. Wiring here has all melted at some point. So we'll try and get that sorted on the switch. Everything's that's not a factory. There's bits cut off, there's wires hanging here, there. So we've got a new loom coming, new second hand loom. Another one of these switches which is broken on the case inside, but the wiring all looks good. So we'll have a go at swapping the guts out of it. What else have we got coming? Uh, I can't think. Headlight. 
ordered from China. That should be on its way. And there is some cows, but I can't think else what it is. Anyway, the tank's gone. That's off the paint. That was done today. Flatted. Uh, dents filled. Primed up. That's ready for a respray. I'll take you down bills tomorrow and show you. What else? I know I ordered three things. Wiring loom, switch, and something else. I can't remember. Right then, we'll crack on a bit more with it. <laughs>